So from a young age, I was very passionate about business. So it was, um, I, I enjoyed creating company. I enjoyed creating things, working with other people. And I think it was a passion. So I said, let me take my passion and create something with it. And that's why in 2017, we created NHS Group, which uh, directly grew into grew pretty fast, you know, so we currently have more than 2,000 employees and the AHS group grew very fast. So I, then I started looking at other opportunities and other businesses to get into. In 2020, uh, in 2020 we got into the AHS and we, we founded AHS Investments where we had a focus on uh, on investments in different pri private, uh, pr public, public companies as well as uh, private equity companies and uh, during COVID we invested a lot. Of, we invested a lot, and uh, we, we saw great returns. And then in 2021, last year, we saw the Dubai market starting to pick up. And I saw that the luxury segment was a great uh, segment to enter, and that's why we created EHS Properties. EHS Properties is focused on just ultra luxury. So we do villas. Our villa starts at around 20 million dollars, and uh, nothing, nothing cheaper. And our projects are not regular apartments. They are penthouses and sky villas. And we will continue in that, in that model, just focusing on the ultra, ultra luxury and that's it. Being a boutique, niche, ultra luxury developer. We focus on uh, ultra luxury villas, penthouses, and as we call it, sky villas. And we will not go, uh, we will not move from that segment at all. Today, Dubai is very diversified, so there is no one particular buyer. You have Indians, you have, um, you have uh, Russians, you have, um, you have a lot of Europeans, Germans, uh, French, uh, you know, we have buyers from all kinds of countries and we, we focus on people, we focus on end users who, who want to buy a home to live in. We don't have a specific country as a, as a, uh, as a target. Every business has its challenges, and every time, the way I see it, every time you do a business, you people make mistakes. So when we started AHS Group, we made a lot of mistakes, but we learned from them. I think the most important thing is you need to start so that even though you make mistakes, you can learn from them, and then uh, you know you, you keep going. And the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. The most important thing is just not to repeat the same mistake again. I think today the group has succeeded in a big way, only being around five years old. We have more than 2,000 employees, we have multiple different businesses, from a, from, a, from a facility management company, which is one of the leading in the country, to an investment, uh, to an investment, country, to an, to an investment uh, uh, company, which has investments across different companies, across different industries, as well as to the property side, where we only started less than 12 months ago, and today our uh, gross development value of all of our properties combined are exceeding 550 million dollars. Our GDV of projects under development or developed is over 550 million dollars as AHS properties. But within five years time, I see, I see us growing a 3-4x. So, so last year we started with 100 million, today we're 550. So within next year, I want to be billion. over a billion dollars. We've launched our latest project, One Canal, in collaboration with Fendi Casa just last week, and we, we've, done, we've done quite well on it. We have another project coming in in January, as well as, we all, as, well as we're, we're going to stay in the niche market of luxury, mm -hmm. so uh, niche projects, different locations, and uh, we're looking at uh, growing overseas as well. We're looking at uh, London, because the pound has, has had a has a drop as well as we, we see there's some opportunities there that we could uh, we could uh, uh, that could benefit us. There is 20 different reasons, and I'll name you a few. No property taxes. No taxes on uh, on, on uh, capital gains from property. Uh, low low fees. London stamp duty is up to fifteen percent. Dubai's fees are four percent. Safe haven, the most safe. I would say the safest place on earth. Great infrastructure. Great, one of the, I think the, the nicest lifestyle you can have. Uh, great city. Uh, international hub today. Location wise, uh, you know you're two hours away from India, two hours away from Saudi. 
it's in the middle of the middle the great hub as well as the city has advanced so overall when you look at dubai today you compare dubai with other global cities such as london new york hong kong and when you compare dubai to these global cities the prices are still very cheap we are still not expensive even though we've grown 70% in the past year in the high end luxury it's still cheap compared to other international cities and i think that's one of the major reasons why investors want to invest here they see the potential and they see the uh, they see that they, what their money buys them is value as well as they see there is a big there's still a big upside on property in dubai you have indians the your uh, lot of indians a lot of europeans are they're the primary buyers i would say You have both, mostly individuals, but you also have institutional investor but investment buyers buying. Most of the buyers are cash buyers, not mortgage, uh, because again, the the, uh, the off buying off plan, mostly people don't take uh, mortgage. We haven't had many transactions in crypto. We've had uh, the one one or two, but not more. So we're, again, most are most are cash buyers and not mortgage. Yes, I do. I see more and more people coming, and more people, more and more people realizing what a gem Dubai is. And the more that happens in the luxury segment, the demand is very strong, and there is not much supply. He said it's gone up a lot, but he also said he said he sees that there is still potential for upside. Today in the luxury, the supply is limited, and the demand is far more than the supply, because. There are many, many, many buyers, but the supply is very limited. So there is not that much supply in key locations, such as Palm Jumeirah, Bulgaria, Dubai Water Canal. These locations have very little supply and a lot of demand because of the uh, because of what they bring to the to the table. The Palm is on the beach. Bulgaria is again. These are the only two beachfront communities in Dubai, and Dubai Canal is on the canal as well as Safa Park, while it's in the middle of the city. So you cannot replace these. You cannot repeat these locations. I think the market will continue to go up in the luxury segment.